Hey there, and welcome to another session of Ontario Math tutorial uh, dividing numbers to two decimal places. And so instead of just round dividing, we've already learned how to long divide uh, whole numbers, like 5 into 655. We've already learned how to do that using the long division strategy. Uh, but we also have to be able to divide it into uh, using decimal numbers instead. And it's really pretty easy, actually. Why? Well, in real life, we need to divide or split up items, um, amounts, to decimal places. For example, unit costs or prices of items. Uh, unfortunately, not every number that we deal with in life is a whole number, so we have to be able to deal with decimal spots. And it's really, really easy. Um, here's the magic trick right here. So, uh, we'll take the first question, which is uh, 6.55 divided by 5. So I just write down 6.55 divided by 5. And the only other thing, uh, other than long division, that we have to really remember to do right now is this. Here's the big move right here. Ready? Bam. We just have to make sure that our answer has a decimal spot lined up exactly on top of the decimal spot the decimal place in the question. So it's right here, I just right on top, put the decimal point right there, and then we just long divide as normal. So 5 goes into 6 one time, okay, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, right? 5 multiplied by 1 is 5, subtract, 1, bring down the 5. I don't have to worry about this decimal spot anymore once I put it up there, so I won't even bother dropping that down. I'm just going to drop the 5 down. 5 goes into 15 three times, 3 times 5 is 15, subtract 0, bring down the 5. 5 goes into 5 once, 5 times 1 is 5, subtract 0, so our answer is 1 point, right, 3, 1, or 1 in 31 hundredths. And there you go, that's it. Um, the only other thing that I really want you to uh, be able to do as well is be able to divide uh, 13 divided by 5 to two decimal spots. The only thing is, if you look at 13, there aren't any decimal spots. So we just have to be able to put a decimal spot and two numbers after it, and two zeros after it. So I just put a reminder up here uh, of equivalent decimal numbers. So 24 is also equal to 24.0 or that's also equal to 24.00. If we put a decimal point, we can add as many zeros after it. It doesn't really matter. Or 3.1 is also equal to 3.10. Again, I just added a zero after the, decimals po after the decimal point. <coughs> Sorry. So that's all we're gonna do here. So instead of 13 uh, divided by five, we're actually just going to uh, uh, put a decimal spot and uh, add two zeros after it because 13.00 is exactly the same as 13. They're both equivalent. So we're just going to do that now. So 5 goes into 1, uh, well, 0 times, right? 5 times 0 is 0. 1, drop the 3. 5 goes into 13 two times. 5 times 2 is 10. Subtract. Three. Oh, I forgot to do this. I always like to do it at the start of the question, but if not, then I can do it in the middle of it. It doesn't really matter when. I line the decimal points, one right on top of each other, and I'm going to drop the zero. Bring down the zero. Five goes into 30 six times. That's a bad looking six. Oh, what's going on here? Let's try that again. Five goes into 30 six times. 6 times 5 is 30, subtract 0, bring down the 0, 5 goes into 0, 0 times, 0 times 5 is 0, running out of spot here, and the remainder is 0. So our answer is 2.60. Okay, and that's basically it. So long divide as normal, just don't forget to place a decimal point right on top of it. And if I have a whole number, like 13, I just put a decimal point, two zeros, align the decimal points, and solve long division-wise. So, uh, there you go. Good luck, kids.